Okay, good evening. So today, quite an exciting video. As you all know, I am potentially still going on my holidays that I have booked for this summer, uh, as I haven't fucked up about it in the past two months. You all know exactly what I mean. We we're just staying in my auntie's house, like we're not staying in a hotel or anything. So if the flights are able to go and like the government said we're okay, like we, there shouldn't be any reason why it should be cancelled. But like we weren't obviously going to go if the government said it's not okay. But now they're being like, yeah, go on your holidays. So I'm like, okay, well it must be happening then. It is Monday today, and we are meant to go on Thursday. I'm still saying like meant to be because like I don't really know what's happening, and like I don't really want to say for definite we're going in case maybe on Wednesday the government now come back and say we're not allowed to go. So I'm not getting anyone's hopes up. Let's just have a fun week preparing for a potential holiday. So yeah, Monday morning now, me and John are gonna go get breakfast. I haven't been out for breakfast in like five months and it's like genuinely one of my favorite things to do. John, it's time for me to shine. With a look up. Um. Zebra girl. We were just driving there and John has such bad road rage. There was like not room for both cars on the street. So he, John had to reverse and the guy goes past and John goes, what a ridiculous human being. What do you mean? He stared at me. He I'm has such road. bad road rage. It is eyelash time. I haven't done eyelashes in so long. I'm kind of getting used to, like, I did grow out my eyelashes. They definitely grew through quarantine because they were, like, fucked because I'd had extensions for so long at the start. But, like, they're actually, like, decent now. Anyway, yes, I did just put on makeup because my lash girl is, like, the prettiest girl in the world. And every time I go, I look like shit. And then my eyes water loads when I get my lashes done. So then I'm, like, crying. There's, like, mascara on my face. And then I look at her and she's just perfect. And I'm like, oh. Okay, I'll go fuck myself then. Uh, so I did put on makeup. Okay, right, you think I'm joking, but this is her. <laughs> what the fuck? Who made her? Like, literally, like, she's handcrafted, and it's just really upsetting that I look like this. And, when she, and while she's doing my eyelashes, like, I have to sit in the same room as her. Anyway, oh, self-esteem's in the bin. It's in the bin. She's nowhere to be found. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna go, I don't know if I can go like full on like what I usually do because like I'm so not used to lashes at the minute and like I don't even wear like lashes when I do my makeup anymore. I'm just much more into the natural look. I'm a natural girl now. Also, I look really red, but I think it's just the lighting in my car because I've got like red seats. I've got like eraser seats, don't I? Like, so you know the in between your thing. appointments i feel like i haven't spoken to you in ages so let's get straight into it what do you think of my lips i i know like there's literally no difference basically i went to this girl and was like uh -huh. like in my head i was like i'm gonna get a mil today which is a fucking lot like half a mil is like the smallest you can get and the first time i got my lips on i got half a mil but it's obviously dissolved because i got that six months ago and like when you first get fill out it does this all quite quickly so i was like i'll probably get like more than half a mil this time like i want really big lips and i went to the girl today and was like i want half a mil and she's like no you don't need a full half mil which is amazing because she could have been like honestly sister go for a mill and I would be like fucking sure put it in me oh don't take that out of context and she could have gotten so much more money from me but she was like I really don't think you need it so she only put in 0 0.3 mils literally fucking nothing but at the same time it's I didn't need more like I don't want like really big lips I just like I like the little like plumpness and I have talked about like lip fillers in other videos but like while I get it and stuff but I've only got it once before but it just gives me a little bit of self-confidence like I didn't really like my lips before like I always kind of overlined them and stuff so just having them a little bit more plump Gives me a lot of confidence, sister. Hi, sisters. Hi, sisters. Ah! And my lashes, obsessed always. She makes them so fluffy. That's all for today. I'm going to bed. I'm actually not going to bed. I'm going to get sushi. Guys, don't even mention it. I know I'm outfit repeating. I'm wearing the same trousers and jacket as yesterday, but you know what? I changed my top, so I'm actually like a hygiene queen. Me and John are going into town now to get a few bits and bobs for holiday. I need to go to like Boots and get my like tanning oil and stuff because at this point I do just sizzle in the sun. Like it's so bad. Like I need to just wear a sun cream, Olivia. Like I, I have a death wish, but it's just like, is death even like a threat to me anymore? Like I just feel like our generation just are kind of accepting at this point. Like, it's not gonna be like that will kill you and you're like good. Do you know what I mean? Good mindset anyway. Oh my god guys, can I tell you a story like 
Oh, this is the funniest story time I'll ever tell you. So I was at my friend's 18th. I'm, I, I think I was vlogging that day, but anyway, I was at my friend's 18th that night, and I was waiting outside to get a taxi because my mum and dad were drunk and couldn't pick me up as per. And I was waiting, and I was absolutely paralytic. I'm not even gonna lie to you, girls. I was absolutely paralytic. And I kind of woke up in the morning, and I actually didn't even remember how I got home. And I was like lying there, being like, "Am I having like a huge hallucinogen, hallucinogenic episode, or am I in a fever dream, or did I?" get into a police officer's car last night and then be like hey Olivia and like surely that's not real like I, I it's a fever dream like that doesn't actually happen so I put, went right into the group chat and goes guys can someone explain to me what happened last night and why I think that I was talking to the policeman and they said hello Olivia and they were like yeah like we were standing outside like but mind you my friend is in the middle of nowhere like, in the countryside and um, apparently two like undercover police cars pulled up and I thought it was my taxi so I get in and go why is there two taxi drivers tonight it was the policeman obviously and they went Olivia not tonight have a good night though I think you've had one too many Olivia and like my friends were like no one said your name like they knew who you were so it's absolutely like um terrifying so either like I'm a criminal and I'm in the database or else maybe they're like maybe they watch my videos if you're a policeman who watch my videos like love you but um and apparently I was like well can you give me a lift because my taxi was like taking ages but yeah absolute fever dream they were like hey Olivia when I got in the fucking police car I'm surprised they didn't just like arrest me right there and then for being a bad bitch but anyway okay so we just got out of town I didn't vlog anything I'm just a bit shy in public like, there was a few girls that like I'd watch my videos and they were in Topshop and like they were like really nervous and shaking and I literally was like pouring in sweat like if you're ever like nervous and come up to me know that I am shaking and like red and I can't get my words out like, because I get so nervous and flustered like don't worry like come up to me because I'm I'm more nervous than you are oh my god I just like need to up my social skills like the girl was like shaking and instead of me being like reassuring I was like I'm red and sweaty and she was like okay <laughs> I need to get my social skills up a wee bit. Um, anyway, let's do a haul. I didn't really get much. It was more focused on John, wasn't it? Yeah. John did bits. He got swimming shorts. He got chino shorts. He got a shirt. He got two shirts. I can't wait to show you him in Portugal. He's gonna look like, dashing. I got this sweet gold necklace because basically I really want to buy a like expensive gold necklace like just to treat myself. But I also don't want to buy it until I know that I can definitely wear gold on an everyday basis. So I'm buying a few cheap ones. This was like three pounds from H and M. I'm buying a few cheap ones to begin with, and then if I continue wearing them, I'm gonna buy a really nice one just to treat myself, like maybe for my birthday or something. The only two things I got were from Topshop. I got this big. I'll try them on later for you but i'm obviously in the car right now this big green zip up jumper i'm a sucker for a zip up jumper i even bought a green one in london when i was there like two weeks ago you were meant to turn left there was it yeah Sorry. and then i got these black shorts now they're really long and john said not to get them they're just like you know like sweat shorts and i just think i'm i, I quite love like long shorts at the minute like you know those long denim ones i really want them but i'm too scared i don't think i've got the legs for it i don't really know what the legs for them are but i'm just too shy to wear like long denim shorts in fact i'm too shy to even wear these sweat shorts and john said he doesn't want to be with me when i'm wearing them so that's honestly unreal so now we're gonna go get a burrito just because we're treating ourselves aren't we mm -hmm. it's a day for treating ourselves i really haven't been doing exercise at all like i haven't done exercise in like two months and i've been ordering so much shit and like you know since lockdown has been eased and like all the restaurants are open and like you are you're allowed to go sit in people's gardens like we've all been ordering so much shit because it's like it's a social thing, isn't it? Like, you go order food with your friends. It's not doing me well. Like, I need to stop doing it. And, like, even if I've had dinner, I will be ordering sushi when I go to my friend's house. So, uh, we need to reel that in. But here we are getting a burrito anyway. I didn't get all my toiletries. I'm going to do that tomorrow because I've got a full free day tomorrow. So, I'm going to go to Superdrug or Boots tomorrow and do a big shop there. And then I'll show you what I get. But, yeah, off to Boo Gym now. My favourite burrito place in the world. <laughs> Boom. I was always better alone. Get out of the fucking other side of the road. John! Aggressive. I should be driving them under the road then, should he? Road rates check. John just stalled. You just stalled. Oh my god. That did not just happen, John. This is a problem. Whenever I get something new, I have to put it on straight away. I've got my burrito and I'm so excited to eat it. Did I just have a stroke? Tour time of Belfast. This is Queen's University Belfast and it's actually in the shape of an E for education. I'm not sure if that's actually true, but that's what my mum used to tell me when I was younger. And then you go across the road and that is my old, where that big tree is, that is my old school. Hi MCB, that was what it was called. Wow, it looks like Hogwarts. Um, fun times. I've never been so glad to get out of a place. What say? Mm, that you only meant well. Well, of course you did. Mm, what to say? Just sound. Was that good? Mm -hmm. That was good.
Thanks. Okay, so we're out on a walk now. We're walking the dogs. We're being healthy fit queens because we've got two days to get some serious abs going on. Yo, you want to see some real speed, bitch? I'll show you some real speed. He's such an athlete and poor Odie. Like, he just can't keep up. So, Odie patrols the area. He's standing. He's trying the grass, seeing how it tastes. And then George is having extreme ADHD. Anyway, so here's my fit accessorized with a little bag of poo. Am I the only one who loves kind of picking up dog poo? Like, I'm just going to say it. I do love picking it up because... Oh. Oh my god, sorry guys, I don't know what happened there. It's just so warm on your hands. Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. It's not as if I'm touching, I'm not touching the actual poo, but through the bag, it's nice and warm. Okay, I'll stop talking, but like, I'm sorry. If I don't get one, people are like, oh, I don't want to pick it up. I'm like, give me the bag, I'll pick it up. Emma, you look like that big red dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, doesn't she? What big red I'll get dog? it up, I'll get it up. There it is. <laughs> Clifford, Clifford the big red dog. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you look like right now. <laughs> it looks like a squiggle. <laughs> Emma's like that one child that disappeared after uni oh, and went and got squiggles drawn all over her. <laughs> and now I bet we don't speak about her anymore. <laughs> Anyway, I just hit 500k, it's so much vibes, so much loving life. And now I'm going to Superdrug or Boots. I'm not sure. What do you guys prefer? I'm kind of undecided. I feel like sometimes you can get cheaper things in Superdrug. I don't know. Just to get like oil and like some sun cream maybe. I do put, I do wear sun cream. I wear sun cream on my face and my chest and shoulders. But I don't burn anywhere else. I don't listen to what I say, honestly. Like I have a death wish, so. Guys, <laughs> I'm loving the hair. Oh my God, stop. Stop. Right, it is much later on in the day. Me and John got a bit stuck watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. He was like, at the start, he was like, I don't want to watch this. And then by the time I watched like, the second episode of it, I like was fast forwarding at the ads and I fast forwarded a bit too much. He goes, go back, go back to the store, go back to the store. I want to show you what I got at Superdrug. Bum, 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 babe, at the Superdrug. Bum, 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 babe, got the Superdrug. Sydney, did you my life for me to say? Wasn't that good? No, 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 no way. Silence. I can hear crickets. So, first of all, I got some cotton pads. If you know skincare by Hiram, he's on TikTok. Focus up here. Eyes up here, love. And he's been saying that this is a really good... Stop. He's been saying that this is a really good skincare brand. I used to use this when I was a child, but uh, everyone just really wanted it. So I got that, and I got the facial moisturising lotion, uh, just to try out um, over a holiday, who knows. My actually, my skin kind of breaks out and stuff. A lot of people get clear skin and they go, oh, my skin actually does break out. Then I got some tanning oil. It's awful, I shouldn't be using oil. Like it's literally like that's how you cook food and like I'm cooking myself in the sun, but fuck it. I don't tell anyone, but I did get some oil. Anyway, <laughs> then I got the Fox Tan. It's like a moisturiser thing. You put it on uh, before you go in the sun and it just kind of like accelerates your tan. I actually think it's quite good. I think it works. It's so fucking expensive. 15 quid for this tiny, tiny bottle. Ripped off. Absolute daylight robbery, if, you, if I can do say so myself. Then I got this a Revolution CBD Nourishing Spray. Flossy raves about this non-stop. So I was like, right, I'll give her a go. Fine. If you insist. Weed, so, man. Pussy, 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 Mary Joanna. Joanna. Eyes up here. We're going to try it out. It doesn't. I'm ready. Oh. Then I got some orange rocket, the best rocket. I drink it every fucking day. It is like a Fanta. It literally is like Fanta, and I get to drink it in the morning. Ah, oh, love it. And then I got my Maybelline Con Fit Me Concealer because it's my favorite concealer. It's just very lightweight, and I was just most days like if I'm gonna put on any makeup, I put on this and mascara. But obviously, got my lash extensions on, so I literally just need a bit of concealer, a bit of light concealer, and this is the one I usually go for. I get shade twenty or twenty five, just kind of depends what's there. And that's all I got in Super Drug. So now all I have to do is can you no. John, I can't put it in it. I'm gonna sing Pussy Marijuana. Pussy 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 Marijuana. Pussy 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 Marijuana. Pussy 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 Marijuana. Stop! Well, let me, can you listen to it in a second? Eat every day and I'm gonna. Eat every Pussy Marijuana. Karma. I hold the applause. I want to hold the laws. I'll be all the roll the dogs. I want to touch your pee pee. Pee how? 
watch me roll. Guys, oh, fuck off. Yes, I did just order another burrito. I know. Like, what am I doing? Like, it's like the whole week leading up to me going away. I was like, okay, fine. I'll deliver it every single fucking night. I say, wise up and stop ordering food too much. Like, here I am ordering food when I have a house full of food that my mum buys. What am I going to be like in London? I'm going to order every single night. And it's a serious problem. I think I've got gum disease. I'm literally not even going to lie to you, girls. <laughs> Can't take big dick, but I suck on it. I ain't fucking with a pussy, got a bump on it. Bad bitch, put the pussy on me. On me. Whip out my dick, then I hump on it. I'm a badass bitch, what you looking at? I'm a throw that back like. You are the dancing queen. Why is it not focusing on me? Doesn't focus on ugly. <laughs> Right, so I am all packed. Here we are. I have... John, I'm really trying to speak. I really appreciate you didn't sing up. John, don't do it! Anyway, uh, we leave at like half five in the morning because we're going from Dublin, which is like two hours away. I'm gonna get an early night. But oh my God, we had so much fun, didn't we? Getting ready for a holiday. I do feel like I look like a complete different person, but like that's just a bit dramatic. But see when I dye my hair, I'm like, oh, who is she? We whitened our teeth and did a mask. And now I'm just gonna go in the shower and have like a full body shave. And that's, that's me proposing. Fully prepared. So long. I would show you what's in my like travel bag, but it's like a Kindle, and that's about the height of it. This is my Kindle. We love her. She only comes out in summer. I like used to be one of the people that would literally read about ten books a week, and then I stopped reading completely. But see, on holiday, it comes back to me, and I'm just like, give me all the novels. Do you know what I mean? And then these are also, these are the only shoes I wear on holiday. I got them in Topshop, they're like fake Birkenstocks, but they're like uh, platforms and they're really nice. And I just wear them everywhere I go on every holiday. Aren't they so nice, being a platform? But anyway, let me go have a shower. Good night, everyone. I love you all so much. Good night. Good night. I think this vlog has really shown how good I am at singing. Yes or no? I was literally about to say the opposite. Okay, great.